Today we're going to cover the 8 different shops in the Shadowvis world, how to get to them, and all the items that the shop can contain. As soon as you spawn in, if you turn around, there's actually the beginner shop right here. Now, pretty much all shops have a refresh timer up here that usually says 8 hours and 59 minutes and has a second counting down. But the thing is, is that the shops aren't actually delayed by 8 hours, they're commonly updating every couple of minutes with brand new items. Now the beginner shop is obviously meant for people who are brand new to the game, and it has items ranging from 100 gold all the way up to 5,000. The next shop that we have is the armor shop. If we make a left, come through here, and then just jump on these little ledges right here, this will lead us directly to the armor shop merchant. Now this shop obviously sells a bunch of different armor pieces tailored for beginners once again. They are a little bit more expensive than the beginner shop that we were just looking at. Additionally, although it does display the refresh timer in this shop as well, this shop does not actually update and all these items are always in the shop. The next shop that we have is the general store. All we have to do is go straight from spawn, keep going straight, make a little bit of a right, and here we are. You can actually see it from the spawn location right over there and this is the general shop this shop offers a bunch of different armor and weapons and things like that and most of the stuff in here are actually dropped from the npcs in the overworld occasionally it can have some weapons inside of here which are dropped from other dimensions but for the most part all the items in here should generally be from the overworld the items in here always change with the refresh and there should always be at least one legendary in the shop at all times the next shop that we're going to cover is the store in the sky now in order for us to actually be able to reach it what i would recommend getting is the sky bar chest plate and the sky bar leggings as well as an Empyrean Ringlet and a Lance of the Valkyrie Order. If you guys would like a tutorial on how to get all this stuff, there should be an annotation at the top right hand corner of the screen and you guys can go and check that out. Anyways, now that we're all equipped with the gear that we actually need, we now need to go to the portal which will teleport us to the castle in the sky. So the way to get to the portal is right through here. We're going to pass the general store right over there, jump over through here, and basically we need to get to this little desert biome which contains this waterfall right here. And we can see that if we just follow the path leading from the waterfall, we can actually go through this waterfall right here, and inside of here we have the viking which is level 15, and we have the portal to the castle in the sky. Now once we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to fly all the way up on top of this castle. And now the Valkyrie helm is really going to help here because I have a 40% ascent speed, and what we're trying to do is jump to that cloud over there on the left. It is a little bit difficult, but you will get it. What I like to do is hold shift, go off, and then hold spacebar. And now what we're going to try to do is as fast as we can get over to here. And it looks like we're not going to make it. But if we just touch the cloud, it should push us up on top of the cloud. Just try your hardest. Get over to this cloud as fast as you possibly can. And you should be able to actually get on top of it. Then the next thing that we're going to do is go to this cloud right above it. And right up here is where the store in the sky is. So we just go up to this NPC and we can see we are now in the store. Now, this Holy Charm and the Star Child armor set are actually guaranteed to always be in the shop but the rest of these items change whenever the refresh comes through we'll now go to the epic shop so we are going to go over to these rebirth portals and we're going to go to the hub of rebirth which is rebirth one and right inside of here when you walk in you have the epic store and right inside of here we can see a couple of different legendary armor pieces sold along with some weapons and other things like that this store always gets new items every time it refreshes and sometimes they can be complete ripoffs we'll now go to the cavern store so once again going back to the rebirth portals inside of the mines of stamag all you have to do is is turn right come through this little hole in the wall and you have the cavern store now the items in this shop do not refresh and most of these items are meant for rebirth one players and they have really good armor shed on a lot of these different weapons next we'll go to the legendary store so once again going to the rebirth portals this time we're going to go to the realm of athena and inside of here we just have to cross this bridge right here and go to the left and we see the legendary store right here now inside of the store 11 of the items are always the same with two items swapping every single time it refreshes the store does refresh every two minutes, so if you don't have anything good in there now, you can check in there in a little bit, and it might be something even better. The next store that we have is the Depth Store, so we're going to go back over to the portals, and inside of the Depths, which is Rebirth 5, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop all the way down, because this is the easiest way to access it, and then if you see Kronos, the Flood of Oblivion right here, just go right behind them, go into this portal, and as we can see, we've been taken to the Depth Store. Now when we go over to here, we can now see the Depth Store. The items in the store change frequently, and this Magic Conk is actually sold here, which we can use to actually warp back down to the abyss. The final store that we have is the Draconic Castle Store. So to get to this, we're once again going to go to the Rebirth Portals, and this time we are going to go to the Draconic Citadel, which is Rebirth 8. Now, once you get inside of here, the shop is actually located right there, so it might be a little bit hard to get to if you don't have any, like, wings to fly with or anything, but you could probably fall from up there to get up to here. But anyway, inside of here, we have the Draconic Castle Store. Now, inside of this store, there are some incredibly expensive items, and most of the items in this shop stay the exact same. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the shops that are currently in the game. Get 
out there and go buy your legendary items or any items that you need. If the video did help you guys out, make sure you smash the like button, also hit the subscribe button, and turn post notifications on if you're interested in more Shadow Vis RPG content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.